Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens Live. All show long, we've been talking about it's your last chance for a long weekend. We encourage you to explore southern Indiana. And what a perfect day to go pay a visit to a cave. And in particular, one of the most beautiful caves in our region is Moringo Cave. With me now is Amy Wilson and Larry Wyman. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks Now, Amy, us. you are the, are you, you're the cave, wait a minute, the cave's tour supervisor? Is that how it works? I'm, I'm actually the uh, assistant guest services manager, but I'm also the manager of the adventure department. So you've, you're, you're the right person. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming in, Amy. And Larry, now, you look like a guide. I'm guessing. You're right. <laughs> I actually, I'm the uh, guide supervisor. I do teach the guides how to do the tours, and I also do the adventure tours, as you can see with the get up here. Yeah, I was lucky enough to, to attend grade school in southern Indiana, and one of our trips that we made, one of, one of our school trips, was to Marengo Cave. So I know about the beauty of Marengo Cave. For those who have not experienced it, tell them a little bit about it, Amy, just an overall view of how big, what kind of things you'll see when you get inside the cave, those kind of things. Okay. Well, Marengo Cave was discovered in 1883. It's been over open for tourism since then, and we offer two absolutely gorgeous show cave tours. Uh, we have a 70-minute tour, which is one mile in length. We have a 40-minute tour, which is a third of a mile in length. Um, we also have cave exploring options for the more adventurous. Our walking tours are basically friendly for any age. We offer them to, you know, anywhere from infant on up uh, through elderly people. We've had people in their 70s, 80s, and 90s go into the cave, and so they're very easy to do. Very cool. Now, Larry, you've, you've had some a lot of experience inside these caves. What kind of things will the kids and adults see? What kind of gems, maybe what kind of cave animals, those kinds, because that, that's all very interesting to me. Right, there is a, there is a lot of cave life. Uh, there's a lot of uh, crawdads, fish, crickets and beetles. Uh, you can see a lot of bats in the cave usually. What about gems? Uh, there's little calcite crystals that'll show up on a lot of the formations. They'll sparkle to your eye. So, all right, so check out. Well, I like the sound of that. Now, t tell me about some of the gear that you've brought because this is important to know. If you're gonna if you're gonna make a trip to Marengo, now, you, do you supply any of this, or is this something people should come prepared with? Uh, no. What you should, uh, whenever you come to the cave, you should always actually have two layers of clothing on. Um, we actually have the information out for you before you ever come. Because it is cool. Those. Mm -hmm. How cold are we talking? It is 52 degrees in the cave. All right. Oh, yes. I like the sound of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, the only, uh, see, whenever we, you come, you actually do want to have, like, high boots so to protect your legs as you go through the sure. cave as well. Uh, there's going to be a lot of breakdown you would climb over. Uh, we actually do provide caving packs. Uh, we have a lot of safety equipment in there because we do practice cave conservation as we're in the cave and cave safety. All right, so probably a lot of valuable information for kids, too. I think they'll find it fascinating, and adults as well. And, Amy, you are lucky enough to be located at Blue River. Let's talk a little bit about some canoeing as well. Yeah, we're actually just four miles away from the Blue River, and we offer half-day, full-day, two-day canoe experiences and kayaking. Um, they're open all summer long. Um, obviously, uh, they're... Conditions depend on how much rain we have, so uh, sometimes it's good good canoeing, and sometimes it's a little more um, adventurous because you have to do a little bit more work to get to the end of it. it Amy uh, and Larry, as well, is this is this a two day trip? Because you're talking about canoeing, you're talking about you know doing a little caving. What what would you recommend, Amy, for someone who's going to visit Marengo Cave? You could easily do a two day package um, we we have you know like I said our shortest tour is 40 minutes so you could just come out on you know an afternoon and enjoy the cave um, as you said it's 52 degrees in the cave so nice and cool and um, it's definitely a good place to go whenever it's really hot outside um, we have other options as well we've got overnight um, stay that you can do we have campground we've got cabins a duplex for groups um, we have gemstone mining for kids we also have a cave crawl simulator if wow. you're just <laughs> deciding to get into cave exploration Exploring, and then it work on up into the exploring adventures where we do supply the helmet and the headlamp and the lamp is yours to keep after the trip. Very, very cool. You know, I think we have seen on the show, I think it's very evident that it, you could justify a three-day stay in southern Indiana and there's Absolutely. plenty to see. Absolutely. Larry, as far as groups, because I, I was talking about school groups, uh, we talked about corporate retreats. Uh, how would they? How many groups do you take? How many people do you take? Are there discounts offered? Tell me about that. There are group discounts if there's, I believe it's 10 or more on the tours. Is that right? Is there any, well, 12 any? or more on the walking tours okay. and some of our packages. Um, cave exploring, you can do six or more. However, we have um, a unique opportunity on the weekends in the summer. Every Saturday between Memorial Day and Labor Day, we actually open up our adventures to the public so you can come just one person and get on a trip and go in on cave exploring. Um, group rates at canoeing starts at 10 or more people. And so... 
individuals, groups, we'll take, you know, whoever will come. We never turn anyone away. Okay, back to the canoeing, because I'm interested here. How much of an adrenaline rush? Is this, is this, should be you be an experienced canoeist? I'm sure you have people like Larry, very qualified to show you the ropes a little bit, but but uh, should you be experienced, or, or is it something that uh, you can have easy rides or very advanced well, rides? Or? fortunately, um, it's a class one river, which means it's actually one of the easiest rivers that you can go on, Whew. and so it is definitely <laughs> good. good for beginners. Uh, if you've never been canoeing, it's a good first experience, and um, you know, it's basically from ages three and up, um, and like I said, they do have half day trips, which it start at seven miles. Then we, then they have the full day trips, which is ten and twelve mile, or tw excuse me, twelve and fourteen miles. And then they also have two day adventures that they offer. And so, um, you know, it can, you can start with something simple and work your way up. Wow, very very cool. Okay, for someone who might want to spend the night, uh, use tent options. But what are mm -hmm. the kind of hotels? What kind of other kind of accommodations do you have in the Marengo Cave area? Uh, well, within close range, mm -hmm. your your best bet is going to be either um, you know camping or um, staying in our, one of our cabins. Um, but within about twenty to thirty miles from us, there are several hotel options, several small towns that that have you know different hotels that you can stay in. A lot of times, we will refer people to the Corridon area, um, which was Indiana's first state capital and so there's lots of things there to see as well and just a short drive from that is Squire Boone Caverns which is another one of the caves in Indiana. All right gosh Amy you have so much information I'm so proud of all of you. All. What, okay what is the website again if, if someone would like to go check it out and learn a little uh, bit more? Very simple um, www.marengocave.com we also have adventureindiana.com and then cavecountrycanoes.com right. and one last thing I'd like to add if we have the time we have an Indiana cave trail sure. that we're offering this year and this um, option is for you to see all three Indiana caves. Once you visit all three locations, then you'll actually get to take home a free t-shirt. And Larry's sporting that t-shirt for you today. If you can kind of open up your get up there, Larry. There you go, Larry. There Very nice. Go. Very and nice. So that'd be a free t-shirt for you to wear after you've seen all three caves. And John, we appreciate you having us here today. So I'd like to offer you a couple of free tickets to come and visit us anytime you like. We're open year round. Thank you very much. Amy, You're Larry, welcome. thank you very much. Larry doubles as a model. We appreciate that. <laughs> all right. More, it's hard to believe, but we have actually have more attractions as we explore southern Indiana all day long here on Wave 3 Listens Live. So many fun things to see. Good job, guys.